Out of it all comes Coates, his father in the selection committee, who pretends Quinlan this time. Quinlan this time, he's had a couple of wonderful opportunities to leap. One spectacular one, he got there and dropped it, and this is his fourth kick only. He's been pretty well held, and a fine performance by his opponent in Rick Kennedy. And Bernie, who played so many matches, four foot grey, sends one of his beautiful super boots. Fitzroy by 13 points. Berry and Rendell. Berry again, another tap off. The chest of Edmonds. Cordy missed it. Comes back to Cordy, pushes it across to Kennedy. Kennedy tries to play the field. He'll get into all sorts of trouble. Out to uh, Reed. Across to Edmund, who cut one a bit high, and I thought he should get the free kick, and he does. That's Jim Edmund. Long way up from goal. Steers it into the uh, forward pocket. He was looking there for uh, McConnell. Rendell. Oh, look at the time he's got. Hand passes out of defence towards Parrish, met by Edmonds. That was pretty solid. In fact, uh, oh, it's on again. players getting very frustrated. Mm, Parrish, look at Knight, <laughs> Stephen Knight. And Parrish will come out with the ball. The free kick, oh, didn't he take a couple? Of, a couple of really heavy ones that time. Over... Uh, over the head of Quinlan, but the free kick was against Kennedy. And let's see if uh, Mr. Superboot gives it a big one. Now just drives it to position out wide. Look at side bottom in the lead. Comes trundling out to it. Picks it up beautifully, actually. Left puts it, does a falling autumn leaves, and the mark is taken by young Gotch. This is one of the trio of uh, young players who've come in. Their father's all playing for Fitzroy. Out wide, nice hand pass it goes. And driven for goal. Lovely kick. And it was young Gary Pert. And that's uh, interesting, should mention the three. It's Pert and Coates and Gotch, who are all sons of old players. Two goals to side bottom, singles to Grant Laurie, Bernie Quinlan, and Gary Pert for Fitzroy, Footscray, Bruce Reed, and Jim Edmund. Oh, good mark to Dunstan. Swings around. The kick's a shocker. This is um, typical of Footscray's play today with Knight racing after the ball, but over the boundary line on the full. And it'll be Coleman to take the free kick. Across to uh, Parrish. Half back to the other side of the ground. Hawkins. No, that's Kennedy. Kennedy wide of centre. Footscray badly need a goal, but with kicking like that, they're not going to make it. Parrish in the way. What a shocking kick straight to Parrish. Parrish downfield. It all pushed out. Not seen by the umpire and a grand effort by Mick Conlon. Conlon down looking for Quinlan, the ubiquitous two. Quinlan could have been awarded that one when Wheeler thumps him. Quinlan plays on strongly. Three to one against him. Down he goes into his own teammate. And the umpire's going to bounce. So, well, Quinlan, just a trifle unfortunate, I think. But uh, I guess good decision by Howe. And he'll bounce it. Side bottom and McAllister. Side bottom decides to do it by himself. Has a shot for goal. It's a miraculous goal by side bottom. That's his third. In comes Berry. Quinlan above him. Taken there by Comp. He kicks it as he does so often, very, very poorly. He gets the ball in big and strong fashion, but he's a poor kick and it's out of bounds. Berry and side bottom. Side bottom off his hands down to Egan. Thornton falls over. Edmonds claimed by Laurie, but a slick hand pass to uh, McConville. Up with a half forward line, beautiful mark, Simon Beasley. That's his first mark, Beasley's first mark, and it's come at the six-minute mark of the third turn. And it's also his first kick. And by the way, he's lining them up. It looks as if he might kick it too. Very accurate player. As he comes in, Beasley head over the ball. And it's a goal. That's uh, Beasley's first kick and uh, first goal. That's his uh, 78th goal for the season, Simon Beasley. Coleman, number 32 for Fitzroy, has played him extremely close.